<laughs> wow, you got the leaner. You know yeah, we do things that. a little bit differently. Yeah, that thing. Oh, he's got some zip. Oh, not to be outdone. That was a leaner. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Ryan here. And as you can see in front of me, I have the latest Mint Disc Mystery Box. If you're unaware of what these are, they first did this about a year and a half ago when they released their latest mold, the Lobster Sweet Disc. Hard to keep them in stock, everybody loves them. They're doing it again with this mold and I'm super excited to see what's inside of it. But before we open this up, I have a very special guest to introduce you to today and he's actually part of Team Mint. So Tony, why don't you come in here? Hey, Step Ryan. To the octagon. <laughs> How you doing, my guy? Good to see you, man. Good, Good to see going. you too. I'm doing well. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Tony Cahill, local Minnesota disc golf pro. And a uh, little known fact, I'm the only person to ace uh, on your course without throwing a bunch of multiple tries. I That's think. right, the first try aced and uh, he won $40 from everyone. I did, so it was a good day. It was a good day. Course pays out. So I see you brought your own mystery box. Yeah, so uh, I just joined the Royal team, as you said. Tony, welcome to the team. We're real excited to have you. And uh, they sent us a nice little care package from down south. No tacos uh, or, you know, no, no blankets or anything, but we'll see what's in here. That's exciting. And you got that for free? Yeah, it was great. That's awesome. I had to pay for mine. I didn't do so well in Austin myself. But like I said, I'm super excited to see what's in here. And if you've seen the channel before, you know we do things a little bit differently. We don't open boxes with just knives. I've tasked our intern, Thick Boy, with finding tools for us to open the boxes with. So Thick Boy, why don't you come in here and show us what we got today? The octagon. <laughs> you're outside of the octagon, but but you're pretty close. Where'd you Where'd you find these tools? Over there. <laughs> good job. Good job. Thick boy, everybody. What a what a treat. Uh, so you've got what tool did you get there? You got the Binford 5000. I'm the, pretty sure. The Binford 5000. Five, Gen 5X. The Gen 5X. I think Thick boy even put on the packaging tape blade on that thing. Good, so he's good. he's taking good care of you. One thing I do know about cutting with those is they are a bucking bronco. So I'm gonna clamp this box down. Oh, we don't okay. have insurance policies for our guests, so I don't want you to die. Well, That's... I did sign the waiver, so oh, pretty okay. Okay, good, I'm glad. I'm glad. So that should be good, that should keep it still. I myself got the circular saw. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I only had one clamp. It was a, it was a tough day this, this afternoon to find what we needed, but I think I can make this happen. I'm an old season pro, so you ready to do this? Think yeah. we can do this at the same time? I think so. All right, well, good luck. I'll see you on the other side here. Oh, oh the clamp not holding for you? No, I bucked Here, up. let me hold that. Just you. hold her down, we'll be good. <laughs> Very tactical. That was a pretty good job. Thanks. Big boy, come get the tools. Quick. That was a good test. He was paying attention. I might have nicked something in here. I'm positive I did. <laughs> it was pretty close. All right, well, let's get these things open. I just want everybody to see how close that was in there. I cut the tape a little bit, but the discs are intact. Room to spare over here. All right, let's, should we, let's open it up and uh, go over what we got in there. <laughs> All right. Stop manhandling. You're manhandling. I didn't cut it well enough. <laughs> so I think yours is upside down from mine. So go ahead and just grab them and flip them. All right. And what I've got on top is this nice little beanie here. You got this. I see your beanie. It's oh, we do got a beanie. So we got the same thing there. That's pretty sweet. Got the nice. disc logo. Let's uh, compare. Did you get a little? Should we ditch our hats? Ditch them. Nice. What do you got here? I got this dog here. I got tacos galore. Oh, yours is we did get way tacos. cool. Yours is way cooler than mine. Oh, Clink them. Clink them. Uh, I got a little pin. I got a pin too. That is really cool. It's yeah. a luchador. That's great. Uh, and now I, I can see the top one on mine. It is incredibly awesome. So let's, uh, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and just kind of open these up. Top right. one. There we go. This is Ooh. the actual mystery box stamp. Go ahead and show that camera that guy. There we go. I've got a 161. A 163. 163. I, I, I do have a pro arm, so I need a little bit more grams on there. there. That is such a cool stamp. We've got a little taco guy coming out of the mystery box. Nice. And I actually think this plastic feels really good. It feels good. different than their Apex. What's, what's your take on it? Right now it's 30 degrees in Minnesota, so if anything feels terrible, but it doesn't feel too bad. My hands are pretty close yeah. as well, so let's set those down. Now number two, 
Oh, I got. <laughs> oh, my number two is the wrong one. Is different. All right, here. I'll match you. You gonna match? All right. All right. I got a super sick oil. Looks like we got oil foil on there. Nice. I got the old red and green. The red tomatoes green. and lettuce on the taco. It looks like. I got another 161. What'd you get? 161. All right. So we got some lightweight things that are helping me get a little distance here. Should give us some extra glide. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we got the nocturnal. They're glow plastic, and this is actually. Oh. <laughs> we actually got matching stamp, but you got a. Very Mine's full. Randy Savage. Randy Savage. Yeah. This is great. I, I had my uh, my luchador mask. My brother went down to Mexico one time and uh, got one of those. That's awesome. That looks super cool. The foil is awesome. And, mine and it's is pretty cool. grippy right now. Yeah, it feels mine, pretty good. Mine's a 177. What's yours? Full weight. Yeah, Full 177. Weight? Nice. Cheers. Clink them. All right, so that's everything in this mystery box. This one, I have to say, feels the best of all we felt so far. What do you think? Yeah, for it being really cold outside, this nocturnal plastic is really grippy. Uh, yeah, I could get into this. Yeah, I'm pumped about that. Uh, and if you're interested in getting your very own taco, check out the Mint Disc website on Tuesday, February 13th at 7 p.m. Rumor has it that's when they're dropping. Leave a note in your comment that Ryan and Tony sent you. Say a good word to taco. I'm sure he would love it. That's Guy Boyan. <laughs> But Tony, you're kind of my disc guy. What on my property? What hole would this disc be great for? You know, looking at it at first without knowing anything about it, it feels like it's going to be a little bit more overstable. Uh, I think we should bring it to the island hole where that first day's happened, and uh, then maybe bring it to Grackle's back door and see what happens. Grackle's from there. back door. Let's do it. I'm so excited to try it out. Sweet. Two for you. That was lefty. Boy. That was that was lefty. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the mystery box stamped one first, and I'm gonna let Tony lead the way. All right. Ooh. Oh! oh only, a <laughs> only a full? Only a full, all right. What do you aim at? Uh, you'll find out. Oh. I really like that disc for you. Oh, not to be outdone. That one's a leaner. We got the signature guy boy instead. Let's go, the spirit of guy. Oh, he's got some zip. Let's I don't know go. If it's enough. Oh, oh, oh. Little deep. <laughs> I threw it a little wide, but it's coming Still back. Still coming back in. Now we got to go up to the yeah. full weight. <laughs> now we got the luchador stamp. Oh yeah, that one wants to get down a lot more. It does. All right. Maybe they maybe like a little baby flex on it. Okay. I don't want that drum in the back. Here. Yeah. I'm just happy with how much, I mean, I'm, the wind probably added some of that. Three metal hits, maybe yeah. two, at least. Yeah. You've got one leaning still. It's still leaning. It might be propped up just for the photo. <laughs> just for the photo shoot. Wow, look at this painting of the <laughs> basket right here. Wow, you got the leaner. Yeah, look, the, the mystery box stamped one for both of Is that your mystery box too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is, it's even stamped up. <laughs> Send that out there. They, if, they don't, if they don't like that, then I, I don't know what to do. But yeah, so what's great is the mystery box stamps for both of us. Just parked. We're parked. Uh, Your luchador one's not too bad. No, and the, the guy Boyan one for both of us are wow. 10 to 15 feet at most, so pretty sweet. Can I putt yours? Yeah, if you can. Red on red. <laughs> I can, if Thick Boy's not around, I can putt all day. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. Yeah, those are. You want to try them out on another hole? Yeah. Let's, let's check go. them out. A little more glidey than the uh, the bobcat. Yeah, for sure. That's too low effort. There it is. That might skip in. Oh. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it after throwing it? Um, so I have thrown a lot of the bobcat. Uh, it's kind of more of an approach to this, a little touchy stuff. This feels like I can hit it off the tee a little bit easier, more glide. I feel like I was able to shape those hyzer lines and it got there really easy. How about you? Yeah, I feel the same way, especially we had a pretty big headwind coming into that island hole and it really held the line and, and kind of had some glide through. Like I'm definitely gonna consider putting this in. And even on this hole, I could I could hit it and it would get there. So I think there's a yeah. lot of potential in this thing. 
So be sure again to check it out Tuesday night, the 13th, 7 p.m. Get your own, get your very own taco. Hopefully they have the Luchador stamp and the Guy Boyan signature, because they're awesome. Anything yeah. else you have to say? No, awesome. thanks for having me. Awesome, thanks for being here and thanks for joining us. Until next time, happy throwing. <laughs> you didn't flinch, that was good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I knew I couldn't do it. No, no.